Plus Racing. Welcome back to our shop. I got a request for how do you take the dang Mazda Miata, Miata, Miata engine apart? I'm going to do it right now. So I'm going to show you step by steps on how to take this apart. And then in another video, we'll go ahead and we'll go back together. This looks like it's a 1.8 liter Mazda Miata engine. I can see the cam angle sensors on the driver's side that tells me it's a 1.8. So we're going to go ahead and take it all the way down apart, uh, step by step, so you'll understand. This is also for my class. I teach high school auto, and that way they can refer to this if they need to. Step one is I'm going to go ahead and take the valve cover off. I think those bolts are already pretty much loosened up, but I'm going to go ahead and pull them off. And I'm just using basic, you know, this is a metric engine, so pretty much everything is 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter. There is going to be one special socket we're going to have to use to get the cylinder head bolts out. Got a little table here that I could try to put all my parts in. I don't know what I'm going to find in here. Uh, okay, so this is a 1.8, like a 94 to uh, 97. I can see that because on the, the lifter right here, it's not adjustable. So when they're adjustable, that's a 99. All right, we're going to go ahead and take off the front cover. There's three covers to the front of this, a top, a middle, and you guessed it, a bottom. So this is the top cover. I just try to keep all the bolts with them. Some people put them in plastic Ziploc bags. And I don't really go that far. I got a little short cover right here. And you know, when I build these engines, especially for the 25 hour Thunder Hill, I just call up Mazda and get these in brand new, especially this one, it has the timing marks because a lot of times this bottom cover gets warped over the years and then your timing is not as accurate. So I just, they're not very expensive from Mazda and I just get them and replace them. all good to go. I got a, I've got a hose over here. I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, heater hose. This, this coolant hose that comes off from the, this is an oil cooler right here. So I pretty much got everything undone with that. And now to take the head bolts off, you can see there, there's like eight of these head bolts in here, 10, and they're a 12 millimeter 12 point. So I want to make sure I use the 12 millimeter 12 point. You have to use a 12 millimeter 12 point. You can't use anything else in here. All right. Hopefully I got enough air pressure. Probably don't. So I'm going to go ahead and bust it by hand. We're gonna go ahead and bust these by hand and we're gonna come right back to you, okay? Okay, we're back here at it. I got these uh, these 12 millimeter 12 point head bolts loose. I'm gonna take one out of here for you and show you what we're dealing with. So this is the head bolt. That's why I said you can't use a six point socket. You can't use a six point socket on this. It's a 12 point. You gotta use a 12 point socket. It also has a washer. It's a special washer. Make sure you don't lose these, okay? You can reuse this head bolt. Some engines, you can't reuse the head bolt, but on the Mazda Miata, you can. So I'm gonna pull these out, and I'm gonna try to make sure I got the washer as I pull them out. I mean, if you drop the washer in here, it's not a big deal. You can flip the head upside down later on, and, and you can get it out. Sometimes they're a little, a little tricky to get off. 
going to set them here for now. Um, I don't know anything about this engine. I think it's a, it's a core from somewhere. I don't know where I got it. But the engine oil doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell burnt or anything. It, it might even been a running engine. I don't know. So these actually engines are getting kind of harder to find. This is a like a 94 to 97, 1.8. So they only made them a few years. And like I said, they're kind of getting, they're getting scarce. I get people calling me all the time. Hey, you got one of those cores? But I think I only got two or three of these left. And I got two or three of these cars. So I, uh, I don't want to get rid of any of these cores that I may need. You never, I probably have three or four of these cars. Who knows what's going to happen next week at the racetrack. So, just getting these washers. Make sure I don't lose the washer. These washers seem to be hard to find, especially here at school. Kids are always losing these washers. Alright, okay, so now I'm looking it all over, the head should pop off, so I might take a pry bar and just give it a little pop, make sure, alright, alright, come over here, come over here, alright, I'm going to try to grab it, Set it right here. Let's take a look up here. Okay, so here's my pistons up here. And you know what? They look pretty good. They're pretty clean. Um, look like something banged here a little bit. You can see there's some, some marks there. The rest of them look pretty good. Now I'm going to give you a hint. If the one piston is super clean, all the rest of them are kind of bad, and one of them is like, man, it looks like brand new, that's usually that you got a blown head gasket and it sucked in coolant, and the coolant kind of steam clean the top of the piston. If you got one that looks like something's been hitting here, been hitting here solid on the head, that usually means it spun a bearing down below and the piston's going up a little higher than normal and it's hitting the bottom of the head. Let's take a look at the bottom of the head because this looks pretty good. So come on over here. We'll take a look at the bottom here of the head. Okay, so here's our head gasket. So if I'm looking here, here's that one cylinder. You can see that just something kind of touching the gray zone. This thing might have a, a, a rod knock, but this is looking pretty good. Kind of oily, so probably was burning a little bit of oil. Might have some, some miles on it, but that looks pretty good. So what we got left now over here on the engine is called short block. So in my next step, we're going to go ahead and take apart short block. But you saw how easy it was to take this apart. Of course, taking apart stuff is pretty easy. So uh, we're going to say goodbye for now. I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you for chiming in. Um, hope that you subscribe to my channel. If this was useful, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or something about you want to know about your Miata or spec Miata, send me a message and I'll make a video about it. Have a great day. Thank you.